Hi there on the Divine Miss Mickey. Um, I had a very honest, very candid comment that made me stop and go, wow, yes, I actually can learn something here. And so I'm going to put it out there now that Becky, I am so grateful for your comment. Um, you have nothing to worry about. That was such a beautiful, honest, constructive criticism. And that is how we, we work together. You see, I can't see, you know, how other people feel about what I put out. So the comments and the constructive criticism is valuable. Which gets me to, um, I'm going back to what I originally wanted and thought, and then it kind of took on a life of its own, <clears throat> and that is about keeping my videos as short as possible. Because, you know, I know, I know how I am myself, and sometimes the really long ones, I'm interested in the subject, but either I haven't got the time or my brain is just not functioning for me to take it in. And, and it's like, hmm, yeah, my videos were getting quite long. And it took a long time for me to post them and I was exhausted at the end of them. And it's like, you know what? I needed that kick up the butt. I really did. So it's like, Okay, how are we going to work with this? How are we going to do right by me? How are we going to do right by the, the listeners? <clears throat> the subscribers, how? And get the messages out that clearly Spirit wants people to hear. I mean, it's not going to be for everyone, but there's going to be people that are going to go, I really needed to hear that today. So, the weekly numerology tar uh, tarot oracle readings are going to be daily and I thought oh geez that that could be me meaning I have to do them every day and I stopped and I thought well no <clears throat> one or two days a week I do a set number or whatever on my energy levels will let me do and and I just stagger their release so that they're not all out at the same time and I'm learning, I'm really learning. This is wonderful. It's exciting when you learn and discover and you see new things, it's really exciting. So um, that's, that's what I'm going to do. Um, and it will start, uh, I think the other one finished the 2nd of May was the last one. So about the 2nd of May, they will start coming out daily. That then also gives me more energy to do more of what I want to do. And so it was like that one comment opened my eyes and I went, wow, yeah, I can see that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I am, I am humbled and I am grateful. So I do listen, I do see the comments um, when I'm actually on the other computer is when I do, I comment back. It's a bit of a long story and a bit complicated and one day it'll be all simplified. But um, for now it is what it is. And uh, I'm going to a bit choked up, yeah, still got the allergy stuff. Tea is peppermint and an ashwagandha and tol tulsi blend. So, yum. With a little bit of rice malt. Now, this will still be a quick one, so I might not get to do all the cards today, but uh, I got four new sets. And um, actually, I was out with, uh, it was actually my social support worker, because, yeah, I get help, you know, doing some running around. Uh, which really takes the pressure off me and I'm so grateful for it and they're wonderful they're fantastic people 
and uh, good old Gregory D. <laughs> yeah, I don't think he knew it, knows what, never knows what he's in for with me. Uh, and um, just one of the amazing people. And uh, we're chatting away and I said, oh, my cards have been delivered. I get them delivered to my daughter's place because it's safe there. Um, long story about the, where the post box is and yeah. So I, I do the easy way and so he dropped me and we got him and I could not wait till I got home. I'm opening that box up in the car for my new cards. And of course, uh, I had to open the one deck that I will not read today. I will do a special one because it's a little bit naughty. And um, that's what they're called. The Naughty Oracle. So that will come on a separate video and it will come with a warning if you can't handle swearing then it's not the video for you so I will it will come with a warning but they are so funny and I'm reading them out while he's driving me home and he's laughing like crazy so uh, yes Naomi Beth illustrated by Dorothy Davidson and I tell you what these ladies have a good sense of humor really good and they're insightful because in amongst all of this naughtiness is inspiration is guidance can't go wrong there and then I've got these ones um, little reminders um, 36 Oracle cards to guide you to wealth and prosperity, the law of attraction. Amy Zerner and Monty Farber. So that's the box. And pop off lid. So um, I've got I got one out for myself. It just jumped out at me. And um, that's the back of it. I think they're all different on the back. Aren't they? Oh no, that's the book. Yes, all the backs are different too. So this one is affluence. I choose to be debt free and to live an affluent and healthy life. And there you've got that. So, and all of them are different, so I'll just pick a few out. So this one flew out, and you know. Um, the more I can find ways to help other people, it also helps me. I feel good. Other people can feel good. Uh, we all share our light. There's room for everyone to share light. Can you imagine the world if we all shone our light brightly? No time for war there. No time for hatred. No time for anger. So let's have a look. I'm just going to give them a little shuffle. These are the, the cards. I'm seeing as we've got that one out there. Oh. This is a big issue for many people. I'll see if I can get it away. Yes, it's the daytime, so I've got lots of glare going on. But this is about trust. And I don't know about you, but trust is a pretty big issue. I'm trying to find a spot where there's no glare. Right there. Oh no, the glare found me. And anyway. Um, and trust. I set my intention and trust. Oh, let me start that again. I set my intention and trust in my abilities to improve my circumstances. Powerful, isn't it? I mean, when you think about it, the better your physical circumstances the better you can, you know, do what you came here to do. Because, you know, when you're caught up in the struggle to survive, whether it be on a physical level, a financial level, an emotional, when you're struggling to survive, that takes a lot of energy. And so it's okay to ask for prosperity. It's okay to ask for good things. It's just having the right intention, that's all. <clears throat> you know, they, there's that, that saying that money is the root of all evil, but 
I beg to differ on that. And the reason I say that is money is the form of exchange. I've done a video on that before. So, you know, it's... Um, and it's interesting, this is the, uh, the card I pulled up. Non-attachment. I am certain that I will reach my goal while letting go of what... Oh, oh, yeah, let's start again. I am certain that I will reach my goal while letting go of how it will happen. Non-attachment. And non-attachment is also, you know, not being caught up in the hows, the whys, the wheres, and the how much. Um, and let it be as it's going to be. There's a lot there. Let's do one more. And it just popped out. It's awareness. Beautiful pictures. I don't know if you can see that there. Awareness. When I focus on positive energy, I'm aware that I attract more of it. And that covers, that encompasses so many areas of our life. Trying to find, no, no, no. I've got to remember, turn off the salt lamp if I'm going to do it at night. That ain't daytime. Because <coughs> it's directly over the other side. So, these little gems, Law of Attraction cards, they're fantastic. So, that's the box I got, <clears throat> and these are really beautiful, Buddhism Oracle, I've always had an interest, I, I don't belong, oh, well I don't, I don't believe in any one doctrine, um, I kind of, it's whatever feels right, I have a very very strong Native American soul. I may have been born in Australia, may have been born white this time, but my soul has had a lot of lives. <coughs> Pardon me, that didn't blow you away. When it hits, it hits. Hmm. Oh, she's not asleep. Before we go into the cards, come here. Stop licking your butt. Come say hello. Come say hello. Look. Hey. Look. There's Skittles. Hey. She's such a cuddler. Not. Hmm. She loves attention. She loves to be, you know, rubbed and patted and scratched. But she does not like being held, do you? No, you put up with it, don't you? Yeah. Say bye bye. Bye bye. Okay, you can go back now. There you go. She's like, huh? Oh, you could keep patting me. <clears throat> so, the Buddhism oracle. I love, I love a lot of the beliefs in the Buddha, Buddhism faith. Um, absolutely beautiful, beautiful box. Um, each side, I you probably won't see it. So. I don't know if you can see, there's just an imprint of a lotus. You can just see the imprint. It's really beautiful. Lovely deck. Good. Big. Like, you know, fairly. Well, these um, boxes. It's a pretty good bo uh, a book. It's not like a pamphlet, it's like an actual book. So. And usually when I use the cards, I do kind of go with the with what the illustrations tell me. But with these, they're different and very much the same as the Law of Attraction cards in that. This one caught my eye straight away. <coughs> There's one. So aren't they colourful and beautiful? And this is, oh, it's number seven, Pure Speech. Happiness comes when your words are pure, bringing about kindness and benefit to yourself and others. That's Buddha. The words you are, you, the words you use are like seeds you have chosen to plant in the garden of your heart and the world. You have the power to destroy yourself 
and poison the world around you, or more importantly, you have the power to plant beautiful flowers. Purity card. <clears throat> and that's the thing I noticed. They're actually broken up into sections. So I've just shuffled them so all the sections are mixed up. But we have the cultivation card. So that's pink. So the purity card is blue. Um, oh, there were two. Okay, they were stuck together. Well, I was meant to read number seven and show you the back of number six because that's actually that's actually the back of number seven. I knew I, I knew went through a few of them. So we have the um, cultivation card, which is pink. Uh, we have. Let's have a look. We have the red one. This is. Contemplation. Oh, look how incredibly vibrant that back is. And of course they're red. And wouldn't you know, the first one that I pick out is the number 13, which of course is uh, my favourite number. Impermanence. Thanks to impermanence, everything is possible. That's the knut nut hun. I've probably said that wrong. When you can attempt, when you can accept the impermanence of life, that everything is subject to change and that everyone will experience the ever-changing nature of life, you will allow your faith to be renewed, hope to blossom and every moment becomes precious. That is really profound really profound I'm not sure yeah in the daytime it's not <clears throat> we'll pick one of these um, pink ones I'll just go through I won't look now we'll go that one. Oh, here's the back I think it's all, all are different and this is number 24 courage it is, uh, it is not the strength of the body that counts, but the strength of the spirit. J.R.R. Tolkien. Courage is a spiritual strength, taking you beyond all fear and resistance to remove internal and external blockages on the path. Hmm. That's so true. I never read... I am my life I have never realized quite how strong I am until I face big challenges and wow I may have come into this life with a lot of challenges but boy did I give myself a lot of strength and I'm very grateful for my soul to my soul my inner self for doing that so and I think there's one more. We've got purity. We've got that. Oh, yes, the yellow. We'll do this one. Okay. Just came up. And the last section, because it's broken into four segments, um, which I gather you could either do them separate or do it together. And this is attachment. So these cards are truth card. And truth was... The focus of this video truth card and it is number two attachment attachment to desire is the cause of suffering hmm. attachment to desire it's okay to want and desire things that's okay but it's the attachment to it that makes a difference attachment arises when we want something different from what we are experiencing right now right here right now this ever-increasing list of unfulfilled desires causes us to experience discontentment and disconnects us from living simply in the pure joy of the present moment. <coughs> now, there's kind of a grey area there because a person can desire health. That's something I desire, good health. I'm working on it. You can desire a healthier home which is what I desire. You can desire a, a 
hard, it's not going to break down while you're on the way from A to B. So it only gets to A+. <coughs> you, you, you know, there, there, there's logic, there's logical desires, and it's like, yeah, well, that, that will actually help me be able to do more for myself and for others. And then there's attachments that are, I just want to have more and more and more and more. So I'm kind of looking at the grey area there. And I think that's important with all of these sorts of cards. No, don't just take them black and white. Look how they can be woven into life because life, as I've said before, there's many shades of grey, more than 50 shades of grey in life. So these are the Buddhas, the Buddha, blah, 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 blah. The, the lid. Buddhism Oracle cards. Beautiful cards, absolutely beautiful. So, look at the gold on there, they're just beautiful cards. So, and then the last cards I've got, again Buddhism, uh, Buddha Wisdom. And this is the Divine Feminine. And uh, the Heart of Kuan Yin. And it's by Sofan Chan. And I already went through and had a look at these. They're your little cards. They've all got that on them. So they're all the same, but it's what's written. So I'll just shuffle. Just notice the time. So we're going to keep this short. And um, I'm just going to find, oh, we'll just take the top card that comes up. Compassion does not see the faults of others. It does not see the weakness of people. It has no ego. Mm. Now that doesn't mean we can't do constructive criticism, just as Becky did for me, because that helps us grow. It helps the honesty um, of another person can help you grow, as long as it's done constructively. And what Becky did was very constructive and very honest. I like honesty. Um, none of us are perfect and we're all here growing together and she gave me that perfect kick up the butt and I am very very grateful so you have seen my cards they are going to be used along the line um, I'm going to look at ways of changing things up more um, and giving a lot of thought and um, and let's see where it goes. Uh, I think we're on a new, a new path, a new journey together. A lot of the same things, but let's condense things a bit more. I think that might be a good idea. So my love to you all. If you like this video and any of my other videos that you've managed to watch all the way through, thank you. Um, then again, like subscribe comment please if you've got anything that can help us grow even bigger together please do share let's get the algorithms moving and uh, let's get us moving and and do check out some of the other amazing readers if you haven't already most of you know them all or at least a lot of them um, and the amazing community we have here on YouTube and um, after a situation on Facebook I had this afternoon I'm sort of like yeah YouTube is my home I have dear friends on Facebook but YouTube I have so much love so much welcoming energy it's beautiful so let's um Let's be part of this. Okay, so I'm going to bid you adieu. I'm wishing you lots of love. I have kept this to just over 20 minutes. Just under 25. It's about to turn 25, so I'll quickly hurry up before it turns to 25. I'll catch you later. Bye.